What do you think is the most significant thing that parents need to know about treating the gut when they have a child that's on the autism spectrum? You mentioned get rid of the sugar um, and, and to start treating um, with those, those good bacteria that we can get in probiotic foods that are fermented. Is there anything else that you would add to that? Oh yeah, I would say, you know, it sounds difficult, but the benefit that you get from doing this really seriously is worth it. Stay away from grains, not just gluten. The problem with the gluten-free, casein-free diet in the old ways people did it was there was way too much grain and sugar in there. You need to stay away from grain <clears throat> and, and, and starches that turn into sugar quickly. So there are a number of diet types that are around that can teach you how to do this, such as the GAPS diet, the gut and psychology syndrome and the specific carbohydrate diet. Some variants of paleo, but paleo isn't any one thing, so you have to be careful there. Mm -hmm. I think it's worth several years of really learning how to do the diet for the whole family, and you will find so much more resilience and health in everybody. And I mean, I've had kids with serious inborn errors of metabolism and all kinds of problems, and when they go on these diets, even those clearly genetically caused problems are a lot less severe. So this is a very big deal. I just had a patient fly over from London and with seizures every day. She wasn't on the spectrum, but she was seizing multiple times a day. We didn't, we didn't even have a chance to start that much, cut out, you know, lower the sugar, a few other things, probiotics, essential fatty acids, and she stopped seizing for a month. Amazing. Every single day she'd been seizing. This is a really big deal, so please take it seriously. And bone, you broths, making broths out of bones, having, there's so much restorative things in bone broths um, that, you know, when, when I was a kid, my family made broths and you would put it in the refrigerator, it would come out like jello. Mm -hmm. That has all kinds of collagens and minerals that are very restorative. When you have somebody with autism or any chronic disease, they are depleted of so many things that you have to build back the health. And in doing that, I, I, I wondered if you could talk just briefly about that. We're not only then dealing with the gut, but then the entire immune system gets brought into play and we can strengthen the immune system. Is that correct, Dr. Herbert? Yeah, because when you go on one of these diets, the GAPS or the SCD, you will solve a lot of your food allergy problems because you most of very few you'll be restoring the integrity of the barrier between your gut and your blood because it, it gets to be leaky the the tight junctions the the things that keep the cells together start to break apart in chronic conditions and you can restore that and you're eating healthy food and a lot of the food sensitivities will will minimize and go away so that's something that you can do. And by the way, this isn't just about autism. This is about a lot of chronic diseases. I'm working on making a movie called Documenting Hope. We're, we're setting up to, to pull the trigger, hopefully in the next six months, of getting people with autism, ADHD, asthma, allergy, mood disorders, diabetes, and juvenile rheumatoid arthritis better because we know they can get better because parents have been doing it, but we've never tracked it. We've never gone prospectively to really, really measure what we're doing as we get people better. So we have a lot of people saying, my kid's recovered, but we don't have the actual documentation of how that happened. So we're going to do it. I, I think that's remarkable. And I think, you know, we should preface this a little bit. We talked about you being the author of this book, but you are a very respected doctor. Um, that you are a pediatric neurologist. I want people to understand because it's it's so enlightening to get this to come from you for so long. We we've been looking at things as so separate, and and it's really pivotal that this information is coming from you. You are also an assistant professor of neurology at Harvard Medical School. So if anybody is hearing this and thinking, well, I don't I don't know how how fringe this is. You you're at the top of your your field and res widely respected. Dr. Herbert, um, which is why this book has been so important and continues to be so important. 
I want to go back to, you were saying, you know, we were talking about some of the things you can do for an individual with autism, but you mentioned that it isn't just for autism. And in fact, in the book, you recommend that the entire family, not just the person who's affected, that the entire family can benefit from some of these different ways of eating and looking at health and the immune system. Can you talk to us a little bit about that? Sure. Well, many of you will know that many family members, mother, father, siblings, where there's a family with somebody with autism and other people don't have autism, the other people are still not necessarily very healthy. So it's a really good idea to get everybody healthy. First of all, the parents will have more energy to deal with the child with autism. Second of all, the child will be easier to deal with. And everybody will benefit by this. I personally think that, that this kind of diet is the food of the future. It will solve so many of our problems when we just stop eating all this packaged junk food, which isn't really food. Food does not grow in boxes, folks. It just does not. Well, I think it's it's so important. I'm I honestly thrilled that you're here. This book has been so important to me as a parent. Um, and, and I really want to encourage everybody to get the book. Read it cover to cover. There's a message of hope. Uh, a path to follow that will help you to get better and get your child better. It's called The Autism Revolution, Whole Body Strategies for Making Life All That It Can Be, uh, written by Dr. Martha Herbert with Karen Weintraub uh, along for the ride. And can again... I, can I bring out one more thing about yes, the book? Yes, yes. My chapter five on the way the brain is affected by autism is really unique. I Absolutely. really think I tie the body into how the brain creates autism better. I mean, I don't mean to be snobby about it, but because I'm actually also a brain scientist, I've thought a great deal about this. How does all this gut and inflammation and immune problem change the way the brain acts? Most people don't really play that out, but read that and you really have a much better idea of where the problems come from. I, I agree. And of course, you know, the studies are, are, are now in the mainstream press is getting there. You've been ahead of your time, but everybody else is catching up. But want to say again that people should get the book and that if you get it right now from Nos National Autism Resources, you can get it with a 5% off if you put in the coupon code Autism Live. Dr. Herbert, thank you so much for being with us.